What's up everyone and thank you for stopping by the channel. Today's project is this Cub Cadet trimmer and the problem is that it will run at full throttle but it has a problem idling for very long. Let's see if we can find out what's wrong with it and hopefully we can fix it. In this video we repair this trimmer however it may not be the exact repair you need to make to yours. We'll explore other possibilities later in the video. This trimmer is in great shape and was well maintained so it's surprising that it's having problems. But depending on what kind of fuel it was ran on, it wouldn't take long for problems to develop. Of course the first thing to look at for this kind of problem is the fuel or the carburetor. Unfortunately it didn't come with any fuel in the tank so I guess we'll have to move on to the carburetor. Now the fact that it runs for the most part but won't idle for long could easily be a tuning issue. If retuning it won't fix it, then we'll tear into the carburetor, but I want to start with something easy first. Now to tune this type of carburetor requires a special tool that you can get from almost any large online retailer, but there is another option that some of you watching may already have. If you have a terminal set or just a few lying around, then you may be able to use it to turn the adjustment screw without buying a special tool. All you need to do is find the correct size terminal to turn the screw. The screws come in different sizes, so check which one will fit the best for your particular carb that you have. In this case, the blue one seems to be the best fit, but you don't have to only use the female spade connector. The butt connector would also work as well. If you do use this method, you might want to scribe a line on the screw if it's possible. It'll make it easier to see just how far you've turned the screws. Now this trimmer didn't come with an attachment, so we'll want to put one on so there's a small load on the engine. Now it doesn't have to be a trimmer attachment, of course, but it's best if it's the attachment that you intend on using. I was reassured about the type of fuel that was being used in it, so I'm comfortable putting in my own fuel in the tank. It's best using 100% gas, absolutely no ethanol, with a good two-cycle oil. Now that there's fuel in the tank, let's start up the engine and see the problem for ourselves. So since it died while idling, we're going to try and adjust the L screw, which is the screw nearest the engine. It seems to be starved for fuel, so we're going to try to turn it counterclockwise about a quarter turn. We got really lucky and we didn't need to adjust it that much. 
If we did have to make more adjustments, we'd have to adjust the idle screw to compensate for the extra fuel, but not this time. Another reason why your engine might be dying at idle is a clogged carburetor. The main reason being a fuel filter that has come off the fuel line in the tank. The fix for that would be to open the carburetor and clean the screen inside the carb. So my question is, if you had a trimmer with a minor problem like this one, would you take it in and have it looked at, or would you just live with it? I mean, it still trims grass, but you just can't let it idle for very long. I know what I would do, but I'm really interested in your answer. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate your time. Please feel free to ask any questions, and I hope to see you in my next video.